Hi, my name is Nikhil, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Majestic KL and the amazing buffet served at the Contango. My family's been coming here for over like a decade now, and uh, today we're going to show you guys what it's all about. So let's take a look. The first food section you'll see the moment you enter the Contango, other than those amazing desserts we'll cover later, is the Western food section. And here we have roast meat, where we have roast beef and roasted chicken. Then we also have a variety of pizzas. What's interesting is we have a fusion pizza, which is the beef rendang pizza. Uh, not only that, we have a ton of toppings you can put on top as well. And as for pastas, we have freshly made pastas. And what actually happens is you ask the chef for the flavor you want, and he'll make it for you freshly over there. Okay, so right next to all the hot food in this western section, we now have the cold foods, which includes a lot of uh, seafood. We have clams, we have mussels, we got prawns. I'm allergic to them, sadly. And we also have cheeses, a variety of cheeses. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're delicious. I've tried them before. And we also have some salads, like couscous salad, pasta salad, and even potato salad. And for all of you salad lovers out there, like I know some of you just love, love salad. It's, it's kind of scary. But anyway, salad lovers, we have fresh salad. And actually, if you, you, if you look at this, it is actually in soil right now. Uh, these chefs over here who are currently busy will pluck it out for you and mix it in this giant bowl and make a fresh salad. And if you're not patient enough to wait for the salad to be freshly made for you, they've already pre-made them here in these mason jars. So isn't that lovely? And um, moving on, we have lasagnas, we have baked potatoes. We even have lamb shish kebabs. Love that. We also have uh, meat dishes like chicken and beef over here. And of course, we've got their grilled lamb, and this is just delicious. And now it is time to show you, pun intended, the sushi. Uh, here we have salmon, fresh salmon. Look at it, it is just beautiful. We have tuna, and we have scallops as well. And just look at that red on the tuna, it is just amazing. It just looks so fresh. Uh, not only that, we also have chuka idako, if I'm not mistaken. It's a baby octopus, and we also got seaweed fresh from Japan. So that is just beautiful. And Here's the shoyu sauce in case you guys didn't realize the joke I made just now. In case you, you know, never mind. Anyways, and we got more Japanese cuisine over here with sushi, a ton of sushi. There's like, there's makis, there's inaris, and so many other things that I just cannot pronounce, but I know they taste amazing because I've had them before. I just love it. My favorite personally, I think would have to be the maki. It's just nice and simple, you know, and I just, it's amazing. And over here we've got miso soup of course like you can't have japanese food without having miso soup we've got the tofu we've got the vegetables i'm not sure what it's called shallots is it i'm not too sure about that and we've got seaweed as well because seaweed is just a staple of japanese food it's just it's just amazing i love this place so much so the first half of the asian section that we saw just now was dedicated purely to japanese food but the second half now is dedicated to asian fusion cuisine uh, and the specialty dish is curry laksa with soft shell crab and it sounds amazing, you know, uh, it looks, I like all the ingredients here and, and crab is said to be delicious. Moving on, we have many other dishes, like we have a Thai mago salad. We even have jellyfish. This is interesting. It's like crunchy jelly, as I was telling my colleague just now. Um, we also have this dish. This is a pakora. And to be honest with you, I don't really know what it is, but it smells good and it looks even better. So I'm excited to dig into this in a while. Now, it wouldn't be a buffet without some Indian food. And of course, we've got the, what we have? Chicken tikka masala. We've got ayam kapitan, which is not quite Indian, but it's almost the curry, right? We've got fish curry. We have beef curry, which is a bit of a paradox because, you know, I'm not going to explain it. Anyways, we also have gulai udang. But yes, this food is just amazing. And of course, we have the sambal and the rice. This is like, this is almost nasi lemak. It's amazing. I love it. Wow. And of course, We've got the ghee rice because, again, Indian food, ghee rice goes together so well. And in the dessert section, we have a ton of desserts, okay? We have chocolates, a variety of chocolates, including the Nama chocolate, if I'm not mistaken. A variety of cakes, which includes the Japanese cheesecake over there. It's wonderful. Uh, we also have lots of pastries as well, like macaroons or macarons. I'm not sure how they're pronounced. The most uh, attractive bit to this dessert section, in my opinion, is the freshly baked desserts. We have sticky date pudding, apple crumble, uh, bread and butter pudding, and these are just wonderful. They're amazing. Tango also offers 
classics, you know, like the Sago Sago dessert. We also have um, fruit jellies. We have got tiramisu. We have got fresh fruits, of course, for those who want like something healthy for dessert, you know, not too fattening. And we also have ice cream, a ton of ice cream with many different flavors, chalk chip, mint chocolate, more chocolate, tutti frutti, and you know, a few others. So for beverages, you know, we have the usual, we got some fruit juices and stuff over here, but what makes this place special is the barista. Now this barista offers a variety of drinks, like, you know, tea, coffee, we've got Americanos, cappuccinos, ristrettos, I don't even know what that is, but it sounds fancy. And not only that, but they add flavors to the drinks as well. As you can see, we have caramel, macadamia, butterscotch, and Irish cream. And not only that, they also add on a little bit of art on top for those of you who like a, an artistic drink. And now that we've seen all the different types of food we have here at the Contango, it's uh, time for us to dig in. So thank you very much. <laughs>